What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are back at our main shop and it is officially 2024. Today is January 2nd and we are still working on this truck here. While I was gone, the guys got all of the drilling done for the fenders, the mud flaps, they got the taillight brackets on and this channel on here with the two by four in there, all the brackets for that, that's all painted. We got these pieces of, this is basically like frame rail, it sits on top here. Those are painted, we painted here first, that way when you put these on, you don't have any raw metal under there. But we're pretty much at the point where we're just wiping everything down, getting it cleaned up, and we are about to start spraying it. But we also have, where are they? Over here, we have all new aluminum rims. Come on. All new aluminum rims for this truck as well. So this is gonna be pretty nice. If I can find it, there we go. So we have the same rims here and we have those there as well. Those are for the red 4300, but these four are for this truck. The back on both trucks, the inside stays steel and the outside gets the aluminum. There's no reason to put aluminum on the inside. You're never gonna see it, but you do get these little plastic rings so that where your aluminum and your steel meet they're not sitting there rubbing on each other and they don't basically get like seized up together. Um, it just keeps a little bit of material in between the two metals. But we're about to clean this whole truck up, cover it up with some plastic and then start painting it. All right guys, so the entire frame is all sprayed, complete. We're just letting it dry, it's still wet and tacky. So we're gonna leave it for tonight to dry, but it looks much better than how it was before. So this truck along with the red one that we have over there are both coming out very nice. But we just had a tire guy here swapping all of our new tires onto the new rims. So we're throwing the fronts on this truck right now. We got this one on over here already. Looks very nice. And we got all of these on this truck done as well. So these came out super nice, you can see here. The only issue we have is that the front studs were not exactly long enough, so we Drew on them with marker just so we can watch them to see if they back out at all. But we can't get our covers on because then you know, you won't be able to watch the the marker if we cover them. Where the covers go? Here. So in this box here you have the lug nut caps and you have the actual covers which will go on. So it's pretty nice but fortunately we can't use those. All right, so this truck is done for now. We got both of the new front wheels on. We dropped this plow right in front. We'll throw it on tomorrow morning, but it's pretty much ready to go. We just got to bolt it up and connect the hoses, but we're going to let all of this paint dry and tomorrow we will set everything on. So we're pretty much ready to go. We're down to basically a bolt on application at this point. So we do have a bearing to change on that spreader, which Rodrigo is gonna take care of first thing in the morning. And then we can put this truck together and get it out of here. But 
this truck is gonna go up to our Orange County yard tomorrow on my way home. I'll drive it up there. And me and Kevin are about to go hop in the F600 and my truck. And we're bringing the F600 up there as well today. It is on our way home, so it kind of makes sense to just drop it off on the way and then to scoot home from there. But I need to find the key and then we're gonna hop in that truck and get out of here. Alright guys, so that is pretty much it for this one. We're gonna leave this truck here and if we get snow this weekend like they're calling for it, that truck is here. This truck, we have the red one in our shop to replace this. The guys did go out for a salt run and we changed this cable on it and this is just too small. It's the only cable we had. This is 3 8 We really need a half inch one on here and the cable came off so they put it back on, but we did order a half inch cable for this. Hopefully we get it. This truck will become a spare and the guy who uses this will now use the 4300. This is Kevin's truck here. Good to go, no problems with that. And now they have that truck as well. So these guys should have no issues here at all this winter and they have plenty of spares, but we do have another day or so here just getting all the trucks complete. We have to tarp some of them, plug them in, all the spares that are outside and whatnot. That way, if they do need them, there's no issues. But that's gonna wrap it up for this one. If you guys have any questions or comments, definitely leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time. Peace.